And if it wasn't for their walk with God, they would have never been faithful. They would have never been able to stay faithful. It was them having faith in God, but also God having faith in them. And that's why we get it so wrong. We started out with Job. God had faith in Job. God basically said, try Job. God had faith in Job to the point where he's telling the, the enemy to try him. And you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna prosper. But it wasn't necessarily faith in, in Job. It was faith in what Job had in Jesus. It was faith in what they had. And I think sometimes when we go through things, we forget that Jesus is within us. Mm -hmm. We forget the relationship that we have with him. We forget the whole picture. Now, having faith in God, again, is one thing, but exercising faith in God is another. Things may not make sense, but if we trust him, we remain faithful, God knows and God has his hand upon your life. But I know that if I have a relationship with Jesus, that I know I'm never alone, that I have all that I need, no matter where I'm at, what situation I'm in. And each of these men, each of these men could have easily given up because they probably couldn't see past. They couldn't see past their situation. Rightfully so. Joel lost everything. How many of you guys have felt like Job? Nothing's working. Don't know where I'm at. God, where are you? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. There was one point, there's scripture in the scripture, I forgot what chapter it was, but Job basically says, I'm standing. Do you even hear me? Job questioned. But I think sometimes that we turn so far away from prayer that we don't even question. We don't even have that conversation with God. I would rather have a conversation with God and question him than to just completely neglect him. There's something powerful about being real with God, and that's what you've seen Job do. And at the end, at the end of Job, God kind of, I, I, I kind of laughed when I was reading. God basically says, don't question me. Mm. I'm going to bless you. Oh, yeah. And God did. God in in forty in uh, chapter forty two, he was blessed and way more with may, way more than he had. Paul and Silas saved an entire family. The problem is, is we get so selfish that we're not okay with going through a season if it's okay just to help one person. That is where we get selfish. We get prideful. We've got to be okay with going through a season to give us wisdom. Some of you guys want to jump straight up here and preach, but you don't want to go through anything. And that's where we've got to change our mindset. We've got to change our mindset. We want to be in the mission field, but we don't want to do the steps it takes to get there. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be faithful when it gets hard. Imagine being over there by yourself. It takes a lot to do that stuff. We better, we've got to be okay with where God has you. We've got to learn to be okay to sit and be content when our, when our flesh just wants to go, go, go. And Daniel, he converted a whole, a whole nation. King Darius, after that, basically signed the exact opposite in the decree. And you know, most of you, some of you know the things I went through this past year. And at first I thought this was for me, then it didn't go away. And I knew it was for somebody else.